Louisiana Beer Review Simpler Times Pilsner Beer 5.5% alcohol brewed in Monroe, Wisconsin by Menhaus Brewing Brewing for Trader Joe's stores. Okay, it says beer and it's 5.5. Hmm. It's interesting. Usually they have to say something like malt liquor. I don't know how strictly that requirement is enforced anymore. Simpler Times Brewing, Monroe, Wisconsin, but it's Joseph Huber Menhaus. A brewery that was established in 1845, by the way. It's got this weird date code, guys. 19 space 081 space 10. So I don't know what that means. You know, I say, put a damn date. I can understand. Adjust my chapstick. Makes me so angry. I'm going to talk about it for about 70% of this particular video. No, I guess I won't. This is the new label. You see? The new label. About a week after I bought the uh, Simpler Times Lager, they came out with the new label. I didn't get that one, but it's okay. I don't save craft beer labels unless, uh, you know, cans or bottles, unless they're from Louisiana, because I just have, you know, I don't have unlimited storage space. When I had this years ago, I didn't like it. But I've noticed that, from what I can tell, they've improved the Trader Joe's, Minhas produced Trader Joe's beers, okay? So apparently Minhas has heard the complaints and has corrected the problems to a large extent. Now, I smell the Ligustrum. It's very strong out here, so I'm trying to not let that interfere with the video. <sighs> All right. Thick, slightly off-white head and a bubbly, not-so-clear golden appearance. There is not super tiny sediment throughout. I don't know. This is not particularly well filtered. There is white sediment, and I mean pretty big dusty chunks all the way throughout. And I can show you this glass is clean. I have three of these Pilsner glasses left out of the four set. I broke one. Finally after um, five years. Oh, what am I saying? After 13 years, I had it 13 years and I broke it. So at this rate, I'll be very old when I break the last one. It smells pungent, kind of rich, uh, full, full figured. You know, 5.5, that's getting into your malt liquor range, so I don't know how much, I, I don't know how Pilsner is going to be. It doesn't really smell like a Pilsner. It doesn't have that crackery biscuit with the grassy hop, so let's go to taste. It tastes like a Pilsner, though. It's got that lemony aspect, the biscuity malts cracker. Think along the lines of like a Kronenborg or a Gulsch, Heineken, Golden Pheasant, Stato Brahmin, Pilsner Urkel. Not up to that level, obviously, a Pilsner Urkel. And that's a much lighter beer as far as ABV. But this tastes good. I mean, hey, you know what? Ha, I could become a regular customer of the Minhas Trader Joe's products if they're going to make them at a quality level. My problem with them years ago was that they tasted bad. <laughs> Good reason not to drink something, huh? But they don't taste bad now. Nope, none of them. They, they're odd. This one isn't so odd. They're odd, but they don't taste bad now. High, medium mouthfeel, though. Heading toward heavy. Mostly dry finish. Um, clean, crisp. Now I really want to visit the Minhas Brewery over there and up there in Monroe, Wisconsin. I really do. I think it'd be very interesting. It'd be worth the $12 if they give you four, uh, an hour long tour and some kind of gift glass and then four 12 ounce bottles of beer. Oh yeah. I have seen photos of bottled versions of this. Bottled. It may still exist, uh, but I think it's mainly a canned issue. Okay. This the simpler times lager, which is even stronger. But um, in the, you may see a bottle, brown bottle, in that Minha shape. You know, Dixie beer for so long was made in that Minha shape. It's got the long neck and then like shoulders on it. It's kind of interesting. It 
the IBUs must be pretty high because it's a sharp lemony bitterness at the end. I mean, it's not IPL bitter, you know. It's probably 20 IBUs, 22. So significantly more than a regular old American adjunct lager. Yeah. I mean, 59 cents a can for something that has so much flavor, so much good flavor. It's really changed, boy. I guess they had to change. They couldn't keep putting out just low grade stuff and then expect people to buy it. I mean, the word had gotten out, you know, don't buy it. But now the word is going to be buy it. It's good. Nice lacing, too. So if you want a hefty, hearty, kind of strong, full, nearly full bodied Pilsner beer, which is super duper cheap this day and age, I would recommend the Simpler Times Pilsner. So, les le bon temps roulé. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Well, not so surprised now that I've gone through the lineup, but for the whole lineup, I guess I'm surprised. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to sunny, unfortunately very dry, a little too dry, southeastern Louisiana.